Hi guys, just a very quick video on how to check that your diverter valve is working and doing what it should do. Uh, so here we have it, I've got it removed from the, the air intake pipe at the moment. Uh, all we've got to do is we've got to carefully push the diaphragm up, put our finger over the end of this little nipple here uh, and then wait. Uh, so we're going to, uh, I'm just going to do that now. Quite awkward. Uh, give the poor video and when I do this. So I've pushed that up, put the finger over the end, and I'm just going to wait at least 10 seconds or so. Um, the idea being that if it's all working properly, um, you should have a nice little red dot on the end of your finger when it's done because it's sucking on the end of it really hard, but you should still get this pop when you release it. Uh, that means that it's held pressure uh, and that you're not going to have any air leaking past it. Uh, the latest revision is 710p. Uh, 710n's uh, are fine from what I can gather uh, from all the cars we've been working on recently, uh, but the latest one is 710p. So if you've not got either of those two, it's probably a good idea to, to change your diverter valve to a matter of service anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. There you go, 710 and as you can just see that and there's your part number